Hi, parents of our grade 8 students. We just start uh, to introduce ourselves. I'm Mr. Robo. I'm Mrs. Sewell. And this is Jangle, <laughs> Miss Sewell's dog. Your kids begin to social line up here every day, and then we enter the school. As the students enter, they'll have their hands sprayed, and now we are going to show you Miss Sewell's grade 8 room first. So this is our junior high hallway. It's a pretty typical junior high hallway, but we love it. Uh, it's our last space before the kids head off to grade nine. So they'll be using their own lockers this year. Everything's pretty standard that way. We spaced them out for so social distancing and safety purposes. And then 8S has all their instruction here in my classroom. Come on in and check it out. So here is my classroom. Um, as I said, all grade eight S homeroom students do all their learning in here. I come in and teach them math and science, and then Mr. Robel will teach them LA and social. Following that, we'll be heading down to my room. Students will enter here again with social distance. So 8W, their homeroom. They receive instruction in this classroom in both math and science, LA and social. Again, maintaining that social distancing, keeping them in their cohorts and keeping them as safe as possible. Ms. Sula and myself are very excited. The grade eight students so far this year have shown some resilience. They've been listening to our safety standards and we are progressing very quickly and we are very excited to have your children in our class. Just a couple of reminders. Uh, assignments and rubrics and lessons will be posted on classroom.google.com. Your child has received the code to access that. And also we will have uh, weekly communication. Ms. Sewell and myself will be sending you all emails, so please pay attention to those. Awesome. Please know that our first goal um, for your child is to have a safe and caring environment in which they can flourish and grow and develop. Uh, our goals in grade eight are most certainly that um, of creating great citizens. Um, you know, more than just within our classroom, we really want to build students' confidence and ability to, to become great citizens when they leave our building, when they become adults. Um, through our programming and through things that Mr. Robel and I have developed, we really want to focus on, on building that in independence for individual learning as well as preparing them for high school because some, for some students that can be a big, big change uh, and things can be a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, so if you can, please support us as best as possible. When your child is healthy, please try to get them to school so we can support their learning as much as possible. Um, if they're going to be away, please do let us know. Uh, Robo and I do uh, you know, keep our classrooms up to date with materials. So if your child is absent, please make sure they are checking those classrooms daily so that if they have any work that they have missed or any tasks that they can stay on top of their learning. Um, more than anything, Mr. Robel and I are here to help support your child's learning and development as well as their emotional well-being through all of this. So please reach out to us anytime, uh, any questions, anything that you might need clarification on. Um, but we're here on the journey together and, and can't wait to uh, hopefully have a 10-month in-class in-person learning opportunity with your child. Hope you guys have a great day.